lesson, we're going to talk about double stops. And we're going to look at four really easy to find shapes that are completely movable, any position on the, on the neck of the mandolin, uh, and to fit any major chord. So first of all, all you need to know is how to find your root note. And once you find your root note, then they're completely movable and really easy. So let's have a close look at what these shapes are and how we find the root note. So the first two double stop shapes we're gonna look at are these two. And the way that we can find them is by locating our root note with the third finger. So what we're gonna play here is the G. Now the G is on fret five on string three. Now, as soon as we've found our root note for that finger, our first finger just needs to go to the next string, in this case, string two, three frets back. So the distance between our fingers there are our third fingers on fret five and our first fingers on fret two. So string three for finger three and string two for fret, our finger one. So that's our first double stop. Now the next one that's really easy to find once we've found our root note and played this first double stop. All we need to do is slide up the neck and our first finger is going to move to the same fret that our third finger was, but it, the first finger stays on this, its uh, same string. So we're going to slide up to fret 5 where our third finger was, but the first finger is still on string 2. And our third finger this time on string three, but we've gone an extra fret. So the distance between these are now one, two, three, four frets. So I'm holding fret nine with finger three and fret five with finger one. So very quickly again, we have our G root note. First finger on the next string, one, two, three frets behind. Then to find the next double stop, we're going to move along so our first finger reaches fret 5 and our third finger this time stretches a little further and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 frets apart. And these notes belong to our G major chord. You can see that the first double stop comes from in the middle of the chop chord. And then our next double stop, we've got two different notes from the G major chord. So the first double stop is a G and a B, the second double stop actually uses a B and a D. Okay, so the, the, the next two double stops we're going to look at fit around, we're going to use a C chord for this example, and the first double stop we'll look at is actually within the C chord. So if you know your open C chord or C chop chord, it's actually the first and second fingers from that shape. So our root note this time is on the second finger there on string two, and we're holding fret three for the C. And now the double stop here, the first finger, is a fret behind on the string below. So I have string two for finger three and string three for finger one. Now the next double stop, we don't need to shift all we need to do is take our third finger and that is placed on the fifth fret for this chord. So it's two frets along the neck on string three. So again, once we find our root note, so we can move to a D for example, second finger on D and first finger one fret behind on the string below. And the second shape is third finger on two frets along the neck on string three in this case. And these are completely movable. So we could start G over here or up to the A. Or I can move to G on string three from my root note. So once you find where the root note is, these patterns are completely movable. So let's take a look at how I pieced together uh, the double stops in the intro. So the chord progression was a G into the C chord, back to the G, and then to the D. 
and then that repeats the second time to the G, into the C, and then the turn around G, D, and G. And so the initial double stops were these first two. Then I went into the C position, starting with the third finger. Then back to the initial G, double stop, up the neck. And then I switch to the D position, but holding the second and first fingers. Then back to the initial G, double stop. Into the C position. Then finishing by holding the G position. Shifting across to D. And finishing on G. So all together we get this. I, there is an extra passing note that I added in up the neck. So just, just um, in the second double stop position. So in this double stop here. That's really cool. That, that works all the time as well. Okay, so I'll play that through slowly uh, from the beginning. Three, four. a chart for these double stops uh, visit pickandlessons.com there's a link down in the um, uh, description under the video I uh, hope you enjoy it and have fun see you next time